uh, concave curves are N shapes and they have a decreasing gradient. There. Now, all that's nice, but this is the bit that you need to remember. Convex, the second differential is greater than or equal to zero. Now, there's an argument for it just being greater than or less than, but our exam board makes us put the equals in there. So you can kind of remember the convex because it looks like the V in convex, and the concave looks like a K. You can also say that E to the X is convex. So there are other different ways of remembering. Right, so I'm going to do an example. It's just to check my time. Don't want to make sure I'm okay for time. Right. So example one says, determine whether it's increasing, decreasing, convex or concave at 9 comma 3. Right, so let's differentiate it then. So I've got y equals x to the half. So if I differentiate it, dy by dx is a half x to the minus a half. If I do it at x equals 9, so dy by dx is a half, 9 to the minus a half, that's going to give me a 6, part, isn't it? Um, what have they done there? Oh, they've made an error. Oh, no, they're not. No, mine's different to that. Whew, that's all right. So dy by dx is going to be a 6. So yours has got 9, 3. Mine's got 3, 9. Uh, so dy by dx is a 6. And then as dy by dx is greater than 0, therefore increasing. There. So that's okay. Example 2 says determine the set of values for which it's convex. So I know it's convex if f double dashed is greater than or equal to zero. So if I differentiate it, I've got 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 72x. If I differentiate it again, I've got 12x squared minus 24x minus 72. If I put this into poly, because I want to solve it, I want to find the roots, because it's just a quadratic inequality now. So if I put it into poly, it gives me roots of 1 plus or minus root 7. In terms of a picture, if I graph it, it's going to look something like that. With 1 plus root 7, 1 minus root 7, where's my time? 3 minutes. So stop in a minute. Now I'm looking where it's bigger than, aren't I? So I'm looking greater than or equal to. So I'm looking at this part and this part. So it's convex um, for x belonging to the reals such that x is less than or equal to 1 minus root 7. Now there's a bit of a, a bit of concern about how we set these out now. We just put them both together. Or, so we're going to try this way until we get the exam board's approval on how we've been doing it. There. And this one for you there. Now I'm going to stop there because it's nearly time for our lesson. There. So there's a one for you. Okay, so well done. Bye bye.